Hi, hello, Wiffle Nation. I'm Carl Coffey with WSCM Media, and this is Weekly Wiffle Roundup. I am hungover. I had a lot of tequila last night, but that's not going to stop Wiffle Nation what they want. Anyways, we had the first week of the playoffs. We had the 4-5 play-in game at Poolside Park. Winner of that played the Aces, and we had the 2-3 game at Coffee Grounds. Wolf Nation versus Cox. First game, playing Kevin Doby versus Skinner. Scoreless until the bottom of the five. Mike Diagnes changed that solo home run. Craig adds on. Squirrels with a 4 nothing lead. Last inning, Islanders make it semi-interesting with a two-run home run. But Craig shuts the door. Islanders go home. Nice run. Squirrels live to see another day. They win 4-2. Wicked Aces were ready. All their pitchers eligible. Little E. Was he going to be a meatball or was he going to be a dad? Well, here he is at the plate with the pink bat. Two men on. Little rinky dink hit there. Scores Bortmus. Misses the peg. Brandy Agnes not looking like himself. Walks Nathan. Gives him another hit down the middle. Lily with a nice slide. Safe. Meatball pulled after three. Gendron gets to the win. He comes in into the fourth. Aces win game one. Flying Squirrels home team game two. Skinner already gave a home run to Bort. Missed lead off the game. And then Zach Adams. How about that? Big home run right there. Squirrels have put up a first inning. Hat looking like hat. Wasn't supposed to be there. Shows up. Lobs one to Skinner. Doesn't really matter. Ace Nation. Going back to the finals. They've only lost one playoff series in their league history. And their team history, too. Belgian Wiffles last year. Aces punched their ticket to the finals. Sunday, we go to Southgate. First game, they almost didn't play because they knew Cox were going to win. Just kidding. We played the game. They gets all odds against all right reason. Cox Nation couldn't score on Mark Brandon. Wolfpack put up some runs, though. Nice little small ball moving runners over. Timely hitting. Look at this hit by Mark. He blasted it right at a guy, but Jardine couldn't hang on. But the Cox uh, had chances to score. Mark got out of three bases loaded jams. First inning, strikes out Scott. Third inning with one out, strikes out Trey. Then with two outs, strikes out Shuas Mata. Got interesting in the six. Bases loaded. Cox with a chance to go up one. But Kujaya flies out and Wolfpack steal game one and have Travis Joyny available for game two. What the heck? Could Wolf Nation really do this? Joyny looking good early on. But Cox had pretty good pitching too. And Kajaya was going toe to toe with Strong Bone. Weren't sure if anyone was going to score. But hey, sometimes in wiffle ball, you, you just need to stick your bat out. Nice little swing there. Got a hold of the wind. That is deep out there in right field. Mata puts the team up 1 0. Cox Nation, they're happy. And they win game two. So for the third time in league history, in the best of three series would go. Three games. But maybe territory for Warner. He was here last year. So it was Dash versus Trey. There's a little pop up to the circle. No one wants it. Dash looks scared, but they get the out at third. So Dash is hanging out uh, around the first few innings, you know, striking out Werner. 
decent defense. But walks in Kajaya, that's one run. Uh oh. Trey's like, we need more than one, guys. Ball's flying out to right field all day. I don't know why these right fielders are playing so shallow. Scores two. Three nothing cogs in for he's like, no, we need more. What did I say about right field? See ya. Four nothing Cox Nation. You give Trey Jardine four runs. Well, let's let's be serious here. Six inning last chance for Wolf. Pack. Put two on. No outs. Could they do this? Mark Kays dash for the weak little ground ball to the pitcher. So we have two outs, two men on. Powerful Greg Brandon. He cut it to one with a homer, but he Kays. After dropping the first game, the Red Cox win the next two. They're going to the ship to play the Aces. Let's check out the bracket. Squirrels win the playing game, then get bounds. Wicked Aces very easily took care of the Squirrels in two. 2-3, two, a little bit more fun to watch. Red Cox advance. So Saturday, August 8th at the Coffee Grounds. Red Cox will be the home team for both of them. Following that, we have a home run derby and the All-Star game. Should be wild. Hey, I'm Carl Coffee. Thanks for watching. See you.